Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a pie chart using Microsoft Excel 2019. So let's open up this folder and we'll go to this sample spreadsheet. It's blank at the moment. So we need to think of a little idea, maybe we'll make a little pie chart, something to do with social media. So let's imagine we ask loads of people, this can be anything you like, but let's just imagine we ask loads of people, what is your favorite social media? So let's list out some social media accounts. Social media. And then let's put in here YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Maybe we'll work with four. What else is out there? Let's have a think. Um, we'll stick with four for now. Maybe I'll think of another one. Um, let's do LinkedIn actually. Linked. Okay, so we've got, we've got five of them, yeah? So we went out and we asked all these people, what is your favorite social media account? And let's just say we asked a thousand people in total, right? So, or well, let's make it a hundred. Let's make it a more simple number, like a hundred. So out of those 100 people, 40 people said they like Facebook. And when I type in 40, you can see it says 40 pounds. That ain't right. So let's click on this column B. Let's right click and go to format cells. And we'll set it to number here. And then click OK. And now we've got 40 in here. And we don't have to have the decimal place, but we'll leave it there. Uh, Facebook, let's say 35. So that's 75 in total. Let's say 10 said Twitter. So that will be 75, 85. And then let's say 10 said Instagram and five people said LinkedIn. So that will be a total value of 100 because we asked 100 people, right? We'll right click here and we'll go to format cell and we'll get rid of the decimal places. Let's just set them to zero. We'll click OK. Now we can just see the numbers as they are. So this should add up to 100. Let's just double check. We'll select it all and use the auto sum and we can see it adds to 100 here. So that's good. Now we can select this data. So we'll select this data here and we'll go to the insert and we want to insert a pie chart here, right? So we'll click pie chart and we've got all these different options. We've got 3D ones and 2D and, but we'll stick with a quite a basic style of pie chart. You can click on more options here to see more examples, but we'll click this pie chart here, for example. Then you get all of these different formattings. So you can click here and then you can have it like this. You can have it by percentage. You can quickly format it quite easily and get all of these different variations. We're just rolling over these. So let's let's pick uh, this one with the percentages inside. I quite like this. So let's click that. And then in here, we can give it a chart, top, chart title. Let's call it... Uh, something like popular social media. And then we're pretty much done. We've got our data, we can drag the spreadsheet closer or we can even overlap it, right? We can hide the data behind it. We can put this onto a separate page and print them separately. But for now in this example, we'll just drag it so that it sits nicely next to the data. So we can see the data and we can see the, uh, the, the chart side by side. So here's our chart done. We've got our percentage values in here. We've got a key that's generated by Excel for the values. And we've got a title across there and we're pretty much done. We've got our spreadsheet within a few simple mass clicks. So you can go and experiment. You can create your own type of data set. You can ask questions. If you want to ask questions, you can just create a pie chart just to learn how this is done. And then you can go and experiment and create different versions. You can go and create the, uh, you can click edit here, by the way. So you change style. You can click here and then you can click, click a different style quite here. You can change the colors as well. So you can pick a different color palette quite easily. So you can really experiment with this. You can have like just blue sort of colors. You can pick whatever colors you like and just experiment. So I'll leave you to go and experiment with Excel. That's basically how you create a simple pie chart. Um, I'll be making more advanced tutorials soon as well using different types of charts, graphs and line graphs and pie charts and looking at more complex data. But I thought I'd do a basic example first just to get you up to speed. So let's save this. Let's close this. And I look forward to seeing you in the next DCP web tutorial.